hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel how you guys and girls doing hope you're doing great as always please check out the description box for all the nice links also drop a like subscribe if you like the content all you beautiful people you are all so nice i can't even like begin to tell you how much i appreciate it all the nice comments everything you know what i'm gonna do a comment reading video where i'm gonna put it up because some of these comments are crazy nice and you're just so insanely insanely kind and I just, you know, it just warms my heart, really, not to be too cliche, but it does. And it's crazy. So thank you so much. You are all, whatever you're saying to me, it's right back to you, all right? Just write everything right back to you. Just, you're amazing. Thank you. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> this video is going to be about limiting the amount of clicks you can do on enemies. So you can't just hold down your mouse. Also, we're going to fix the points thing. We're not going to have integer here. I'll explain. That's going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be it. So let's start. Let's start with the points. I'm going to use unsigned here. Quick C++ tutorial. Unsigns are positive values only. Imagine a box with a divider in the middle. So you have a regular int with a divider in the middle in this big box. You have your positive values on the right, your negative values on the left. And the big box is divided. So this big box, the limit is halved, right, for the positive values. And unsigned, the full box is given to positive values. So you don't have to, uh, you know, skip out on any values. You, if you try to do negative values in unsigned, you'll crash. So it's only for positive values, but you get a lot more of them. That's how we're going to do it, since points will never be below zero. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, now I did something crazy here. I don't know what I was doing. I was testing some stuff out. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, unsigned. Step number one is going to be to create a new variable here, which I just had. Uh, I'm going to create a boolean called mouse uh, clicked or mouse held because that's what it's going to check. Held. We're going to check if the mouse is held down. And if it is held down, we're not going to remove an enemy. Now we're going to have to change stuff up a little bit first of all let's go up to game cpp init variables this function and we're gonna initialize this variable because this is a must mouse held equals false because we're not holding the mouse from the beginning we might be but you know the first click should be registered once that's done i'm gonna go down to my update functionality here where is it? Update enemies. And we're going to change a, a few things. This is the timer. This is what we want to look at. So we have to divide this up. Sadly, we're going to have to divide this up because me trying in here just resulted in failure. So we're going to remove this whole thing and we're going to leave this here. And I'm going to make a paste down here for the mouse click. Now, don't worry. I'll explain everything. In this loop, we're just going to move and update, hang, update the enemies. Also, we're going to check for them going below uh, the window, the screen. This is good. And we're going to remove this deleted thing. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use this erase functionality right here. So I'm going to erase it. And that's how it's going to be. Perfect. And once it's erased, we're good to go. Now, in this mouse click functionality here, we're going to do it a little differently. I'm going to take this, control X this part, and I'm going to remove the rest of this. And I'm going to keep deleted because we're going to create a bool deleted. You can do a bool deleted equals false because here we don't want to. Uh, you can actually do it in here. Bool deleted equals false. And this is going to be a little more optimized. This is going to be a little more optimized. Um, and we're going to have to do a for loop with this enemies dot size. And then have that there and put that in there so what's gonna happen 
is the, there's gonna be a few steps. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. I'll explain everything. So, let's start here. This for loop is just gonna be for updating enemies and checking if they're below the screen. And then it's gonna delete that enemy. This would be a lot easier if we had pointer enemies, pointers and stuff. But anyway, um, that will come in the future. And this is just going to be for the attacking. So if we click our mouse, we'll delete an enemy. Now deleted is false, and I'm going to add that here. If deleted equals false, then the for loop is going to run. But in here, if I have clicked upon an enemy and it is erased and deleted, I'm going to add some points to myself and I'm going to delete the enemy. But I'm also going to set deleted to true and that will cancel the rest of the loop. Now you can use break if you're used to that, but I don't like using break because I can forget where I put breaks and it could just mess up the whole code uh, and ruin other stuff. So this is a very simple way of just checking if we've deleted something or not. Once you set this to true, this will stop running. And that's very important because if you try to keep clicking and stuff, it might crash. So it's important to cancel out of the loop once you erase the enemy. In this case, it doesn't matter because we aren't clicking. It's not user based. It's kind of based on the enemy. It will just delete it and keep going. You could also add a deleted thing here if you notice it crash, but we'll, we'll notice that later. Uh, anyway, now we have to do the mouse held functionality. This is good. This is good. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do if this mouse held and I'm going to kind of what do you call it? I'm going to put everything within that if say, if statement. And if mouse is mouse held equals false, that's when this will be allowed to happen. But if the mouse is not being clicked, this mouse held equals false. And I'm going to set this mouse held equals true in here. So let me walk you through this. First of all, it's set to false. So once it comes here, it will notice a click. It is false, so it will go in here. It will set it to true for the next iteration, but it will set it to true. Then it will check all the enemies, which enemy did I click upon, and it will erase that enemy and go down. And if I'm still holding it, there's an else statement here, right? So it's not going to go in here. It's going to go into the next loop. So we're coming here in the next loop. If we're not holding our mouse in the next iteration, it's going to set it to false. So in the next iteration, I'll come in here, click, and then it will be false. I can go in here and I can do stuff. So it's a check. So we can't hold down the mouse button and kill all the enemies. So let's try this. Hopefully I didn't go too fast. All right, so I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. If I hold it down, nothing's going to happen. If I kill one enemy and hold it down, nothing's going to happen. But I can kind of continuously click. I hope you can hear that. I'm clicking, I'm clicking. I'm getting points. Yeah, buddy. Okay, nice. That's working. That's great. Now that we have that set up and ready to go, the next step can be uh, 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 there we go the next step can be to introduce a health variable so that we actually die if our health goes below zero let us do that here int health okay int health let's go to our initialization Let's set this health to 10, something like that. Let's go down here to where we, where our enemy reaches the bottom of the screen. And let's make a little, you know, thing here, thingamajig. This health minus equals one. So that's what I'm going to do. Also, points shouldn't be F. Sorry about that. I forgot about that. Um, so health minus one if an enemy reaches the screen. And points plus one if we kill an enemy. So let's make sure we can see this, at least in the debug window for now. Points. This. Points. New line. 
and just copy this whole thing. Put that under health. 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 So we're just printing it out to the debug window. And let's see if this works. Make sure that everything works. It's always good to do. So if I click that, I get 2.3 uh, health, 4, 5, 3, 2, 0, minus 1, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. And if our health reaches 0, we'll end the game. And how do we end the game? That's also something we're going to have to create in game logic. And we're going to have to do a void end game. No, not void, bool end game um, variable. And we're going to set end game to false. Okay, very nice, very nice. Very good, very good. And our update functionality. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Where is it? Update enemies, update here. If this end game, if this end game is false, then we're going to update everything. And we still want pull events because we want to be able to press escape and close the window. But everything else is going to be within this end game. I'll write it like this if so you don't get confused. Render, we want to render everything no matter what. But that's how we're going to do it. So our end game, when it's false, we're, uh, we're going to keep doing this. But if it's true, it's not going to do anything. Now, in our regular update function here, what I'm going to do is that if this health is greater or equal to is less than or equal to zero, this end game equals true. So this will be kind of our end game thing, uh, condition, end game condition. Good, so once that's true, we don't want anything to update anymore. Also, we want to be able to get that from outside. So go into game.h and go under accessors and let's do a const bool get end game const like this. And this is going to be a very simple function. It's going to return the end game for us. So if end game will be true outside in our main. Okay, so we're going to do it like this still. Um, this just means that equals equals to true. So it's just a quick way of writing it. If you don't write anything after this, it will be while this is true. And if you write this exclamation mark before it, then it will be while it's false. So while the game is running and while the end game variable is not set. Yeah, while this doesn't return true. So this will return true as soon as we want to end the game. So let's run this one last time and just make sure this works. Let's see if we can get health to zero and it just quits just quits if that that's the way you want it to happen you can you can leave it like that otherwise what you can do is if you don't want to do this you can just do that and we'll have a text which prints out that the game is over restart the game or something like that so you can you can choose either way whatever you want to do um, I'll keep it like this for now and uh, we'll, we'll insert some fonts and text later and we'll make sure that works. So now the game is somewhat playable. Hopefully you like this. Hopefully it was cool. I know it went a little fast in some areas, but I, hopefully you understood this part, the important part of, sorry, I'll go up here to this update enemies function. Uh, the sectioning of this function is very important. So why we have it this way, what we're updating here, we're updating the enemy spawners, we're moving and updating the enemies generally. This is for the attack upon the enemies, right? The, the killing of the enemies. Uh, so it's very important what you understand why it's like this. You can try to keep this for loop in here and see why that might not work always um, and try it out. But this way works to check if the mouse is held or not. Might be a very bad solution, uh, but I'll, I'll look into it a little more. Anyway, it works. So hopefully you like that. Good. Good. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Take care. Check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe, 
and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.